Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, I'm going to be showing you how to use a 3D printed bracket to install a Sonoff uh, wireless module on a standard desk lamp such as I have here. So this is off my uh, desk in my office, and so one of the things I like is it's got the magnifier and it's got a light. But a lot of times I forget and leave it on at night. So I want to be able to turn this off automatically or have, you know, my Wink and Alexa system turn it off you know uh, at night automatically so I'll have a rule set up but to do that I need a module like this to interface it with so I wanted to do something that was pretty clean too so that's why I whip this module up and basically the Sonoff module attaches and it clips onto the bracket so this is about a 10 millimeter by 10 millimeter bracket and so I can snap it on about anywhere but I'm gonna put it down here at this end over here uh, and I'll get to that in a little bit more in a second However, one of the first things I want to start off with is safety. So this lamp, as most lamps do, uses main voltage. So if you're not comfortable in dealing with this type of voltage, you don't have experience with it, then please don't do this. If you do, well then, i got a couple pointers. First is unplug it. You see that I have it unplugged, so unplug it from the wall. The second thing is, with the Sonoff module, note that there's an input and an output, as well as labeling for neutral N and load L. So these are very important. And so with the input, this will come from your wall outlet. The output will go to the light. So very important. The other piece is make sure you get neutral and load correct. Because what happens is there's a relay inside here. And this is what switches the load. And if you don't have the load as the switched leg of the circuit, your device is going to be hot all the time and you run into electrocution risk. So very important. You know, make sure you get this part right. But you're probably saying, Joe, I got two prongs. How do I know which is which? Here's the magic. At least if you're in the United States and you have a polarized plug, which I do here, is you'll notice one of the prongs is larger than the other. So this larger prong is the neutral plug. So this is actually the end. The smaller plug is the load. So this is the, the hot end, which will go to your load side. Now, say, that's great, Joe, but how do you translate that to the wire? Well, it's pretty straightforward, actually, because if we look at here with the larger uh, prong on this side, you see it has a rib on this side of the wire. So typically, it will have either a rib alongside this wire, in the case of it's white. If it was darker, it may actually even have a white stripe or some sort of different colored stripe to indicate neutral. So you want to make sure you line these up when you go ahead and put this back together that you have the ribbed to the ribbed and then the non-ribbed to the non-ribbed. So with that said, what I want to do first though is mount the Sonoff module to this. Now, this is actually pretty simple and straightforward uh, because the base, I simply uh, 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 scanned the base and made this base from the scanned image of it so it's an exact match. And then I whipped up these snaps as you see here to snap on. Now I printed this in PLA, might be a little bit better than you know, ABS, but I figure this is pretty much a one-way street because if you go to take it off, it probably with PLA will break. So uh, make sure you get all this right the first time around. So I'm going to use some shorter, I think these are around 6 millimeter M3s, and then um, all we need is two of them really. And it just goes inside this hole inside here, and if I get everything lined up, I can just start moving this, screwing this through. And you can see it start coming out the other end. And then I'm just going to take, uh, this would probably be enough to to hold it but what I'm going to do is actually use this to tighten it up a little bit. Now I'm not going to go really tight because I, I have a couple of these Sonos in them. The holes in them are not perfect. So I want to just kind of leave that loose while I go ahead and put this one in. And again that will kind of pull it kind of self level. And there we have it. It pulls through. And I'm going to do the same with this one. And just take a nut and put it on the back. I have some links to some number three screws at your bolts you can get off of Amazon if you don't have any that can go through and do this. Now there we go. So now we're complete. Now, the next part, what I'm going to do is I'm going to clear this away a little bit. And then we're going to start to work on the cord itself. Okay, so I've made some room on the bench. And what I've also done, just to kind of keep this straight and a little bit of a tip, 
is I used a Sharpie to mark my neutral wire and also mark uh, the area where I'm going to cut it. So I'll know that I need to align these two together for my neutral. So I've also left a little bit of extra wire here because I am going to have it set down about around here. And uh, I don't need a lot of cord because I've got plugs on the top of the desk that this plugs into. So I want to leave myself a little bit of room to uh, actually deal with this. Now again, I have this unplugged from the wall before I do this because this would be a bad thing to do with it plugged in the wall. Is I'm just going to take a, a pair of flush wire cutters. You can take any type of wire cutters. And just, uh, I'm going to move this up a little bit. And just snip these like this. And then I'm going to split these like this and do similar here. And then what I'm going to do is just use some um, wire strippers to strip these wires away and just enough to uh, clean up so I can stick them into the Sonoff module. Okay, so that's now done. Now, one of the things I want to do is I want to add a little bit of shrink wrap to the ends of these. So uh, I'm going to jump over to the bench and I'll come back and show you. It'll make a little bit more sense after I install it and I'll explain why I like to do that, especially when working with uh, mains voltage. Okay, so I went across the uh, room and on the uh, my electronics workbench, I uh, got some heat shrink tubing and put it over top of the ends here. And so as you can see, they're now color-coded to uh, neutral and load. And so I have that straight. Now, one of the reasons I do this, uh, and I typically do this if I cut a power cord of this nature, because one of the things what will happen, especially since this is a little bit older power cord, uh, is, is if this starts breaking down, I don't want this to start fraying backwards and create a, uh, maybe a short risk or what have you there. So this heat shrink tube really works to kind of hold everything together in, in place. So now what we need to do is, uh, again, since this is the input side for the Sonoff, we have the input here, and we see that we have the uh, just lugs there. So I need to find sort of an appropriate sized uh, screwdriver. Now this part is not very exciting, folks. Okay, now I have this in there. One of the things you want to make sure is you don't short this, nothing shorting across here, obviously, because then you'll have a dead short, and that's not a good thing. You'd be popping a breaker. The other piece is you notice I did not tin these wires. I don't like to, when I put in clamps on this, I don't like to tin it because I want a very solid contact pressure to occur in, in, in these joints, if you will. So I'm going to go ahead and do the other side. Well, actually, I take that back. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to assemble this side because it might be a little bit easier um, to do if I get my screws out. And again, put this, and it's got teeth that's going to lock down. Now, one of the things you might notice is that with the um, uh, shrink wrap on there, it gives it a little bit more to bite into, which is also good. All right, that's now assembled. Now I'm gonna do the same for the other side, connecting it to my uh, output. So again, you notice output, I'm gonna go ahead, do the same thing here, just loosen this up. I know this is not exciting, but it is what we do. And try not to bump you. And again, make sure we got our load, we got our neutral, and double checking everything. And make sure I got these Twist it tight. Make sure I'm getting this in.
so there we go so I've got it snapped on the fit it's uh, really snug but it's got a good fit to it so really happy and I think most standard lamps are about this size and you see it comes back down here I may take for just strain relief a zip strip and uh, put a zip strip down here so I have strain relief let's go ahead and actually do that I'll feel a little bit more comfortable with that okay so I added uh, cable tie down here at the bottom and maybe we can see it a little bit better like this um, but as you see and I now have it coming out I've now got pretty good strain release so this is not trying to pull over and I now have a sun off module mounted to this lamp so I'll have this out on Thingiverse I think this is actually pretty cool I think these modules are pretty interesting uh, definitely be safe with it that's one of the things I like with this is this is now up out of the way mounted to the lamp easy to get at I'll probably be doing more with these in the future designing other things if you have some ideas for, for me to design something for these I'll spit it out let me know in the comments below I'm always looking for new projects things like that and a lot of my inspiration comes from you guys out there so anyways here it is pretty cool and uh, again I'll have links to these and everything down below in the description if you're looking to, uh, for something like this because I think this is really kind of cool and for the money these were like under five bucks a piece or something like that I paid for like two of them and you can get them for like in, in five or six unit lots so very cool anyways don't forget the big thumbs up don't forget the subscribe button coming over there oh I almost forgot swag shop swag shop up there yep and we'll see you guys in the next video cheers Please click like below and subscribe to the channel.